Hello everybody and welcome to Drew in the Moment. We are here in Lakeland, Florida, in downtown Lakeland, Florida, for their farmer's market that they have every Saturday. They have a variety of things at this market, uh, from bread to honey to uh, like a sushi type booth. They have a whole bunch of cool, cool things. A lot of stuff to eat and a lot of stuff that you're gonna wanna buy. So thank you for checking out the video. We hope you enjoy. So without further ado, let's go check out the cool stuff. All right, so right off the bat, we have Morning Glory Artisan Bakery. And I actually just talked, this is Chris. Hi. And uh, Chris does all of this handmade, handmade beautiful bread. Look at this. And what kind of bread was this again? That's you wanna run down? Jalapeno cheddar. Jalapeno cheddar. Gluten free with roasted heirloom tomatoes and rosemary. Oh, that looks so good. A traditional focaccia with the same toppings. Oh my goodness. A sourdough with Kalamata olives. Oh. And a pepperoni cheese bread. Fantastic, fantastic. And hopefully Chris will allow us to try a sample. Absolutely. So that bread was fantastic. Had a little tiny spice, and just so you guys know, uh, that company is out of Davenport. But this little lady's not out of Davenport. I tried the bread; it was delicious. <laughs> so good, so good, and handmade, handmade. You know, that's what it's all about. That's right. So where do we go now, Queen? Where do we go? Explore. Let's explore. And beyond this being an amazing uh, place to get a smoothie, just look at it. It's a VW bus. So awesome. Look at this thing. I love the colors. Absolutely love the colors, but yes. You get natural juices. Look at this. Menu mango fruit. Tangerine. So good, but yes, very, very good uh, smoothies here. Love them. Hi. Good morning. Yeah, come get your juice. Yeah, that's right. See, come get your juice. <laughs> Fantastic. Now, what's your most popular juice? The most popular is passion fruit. Passion fruit, is it? Yeah. And the mango. And the mango. Yeah. Fantastic, man. Thank you, guys. Absolutely. Have a good day. Uh, but this is new. Schmush. Can you say it? Can you say that? Shmush! Look at the, look at his little face. He looks so, he looks so happy. He looks so happy. He's got a secret. He's got, oh, he's got a secret. He's got a secret. Handmade marshmallow and tasty treats. Look at this. Oh my. Churro, macaroon, no way. root beer float. Oh, are you kidding me? Look at these flavors. And like Queen was saying, this is this is Queen right here. That's when I tell her stories. <laughs> when I tell her stories and she starts falling asleep. Oh, look at that. Jack-o'-lanterns, pumpkin spice marshmallow. Oh, I might have to try that. All right, so let's go talk to Jessica and see all. Hello, Jessica, good Hello. morning. Good morning. So tell us. what it's all marshmallows. It's all marshmallows. Just marshmallows, marshmallow, marshmallows. Marshmallow, marshmallow. Yep. They look amazing. Thank you, I all... made them all uh, by hand. Okay. Got uh, something for everybody, a little bit of everything flavor-wise. And a candy corn, of course. Yep. Candy corn yep. has my heart. Gotta oh have, my gotta have word. Candy corn. It's seasonal. Got the pumpkin spice too, it's seasonal. Caramel yeah. apple, chai. That is phenomenal. Now, how long have you been doing this? Um, I'm in my second year. Okay. So about, yeah, just over a year, 18 months, I guess. These look just beautiful. Thank you so Absolutely much. Absolutely gorgeous. Thank you so much. They're a lot of fun to make. They're a lot of fun to eat. I mean, it's marshmallow, you know? How do you go wrong with marshmallow? How do you go wrong with marshmallow? That's All right, so we got the pumpkin marshmallow. I almost went with the candy corn, but I was like, you know what? It was so close. I was. I was like, yeah. and then I went, you know what? Let's let's just do the pumpkin. Uh, it's. I'm telling you, these things are beautiful, man. Like they just visually, she does a wonderful job. Okay. And look at it. Look at it. Oh yeah. Look at this. Look how pretty that is. Seriously. Marshmallow, marshmallow. All right, 
Here we go. We're gonna we're gonna give it a whirl. Oh, it smells so good. All right, here we go. Taste test it. Well, you know what? You guys have a bite first. Yum 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 yum. yum, yum. All right, here we go. That is delicious. Oh my goodness. Mmm. Mmm. As I make a mess. Queen's like, Let's try it. You guys take another bite? Mmm. And you know what? Mm. It's not overly pumpkin spiced. Like mm. sometimes they just jam it. Mm -hmm. It's got a nice little smooth oh hint. Oh my goodness, it's just so good. Isn't that good? Mmm. So marshmallowy. And you know, we're gonna be nice. I'm gonna take one more bite, but we're yeah. gonna save uh -huh. the rest of the kids. Mmm. So good. So good. That was five dollars. Handmade marshmallow. And we weren't even planning on getting the marshmallow. And that's what I love about this market. We come down and we end up finding something that we're like, like I didn't even no. think about marshmallow. Okay. You know? Okay. So all right, let's keep moving on because there is another place that we're gonna get something to eat. And I'm excited about it. It was actually the place that we were gonna show you when we walked down and then I got sidetracked with marshmallows. So let's do it. Alright guys, the main reason we came down this road is for Omnusibu, Omnusibu, I always have trouble saying the name, but they have Japanese rice balls and we are gonna get one and show you guys how delicious these are. Now what we're gonna try. What we're gonna try. What we're gonna try is a Japanese rice ball, but I remember the first time I got it, I was like, it's not a ball though, it's a triangle. <laughs> but so there's a way you open this and there's, there's instructions and I, let's see if I can mess it up. So you gotta check it out. So you pull down here. Okay, one. 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 You do that. And then you pull that side. Okay. And then pull this side. So we got the pork mm. belly. Of course, bacon. Pork belly. But look at this thing, man. I'm telling you, these are delicious. If you are a sushi fan of any sort, you will enjoy this. If you're not, you will not enjoy this because it's Super. got the seaweed wrap on it. Queen, would you like to try the first no, you, bite? you go for it. I get to go first? All right, well actually they need to go first. Have a, have a quick bite, guys. All right, here we go. That, that's delicious. We, we had it before. Mm-hmm. Been that kind? Mm -hmm. this kind? I usually get the pork belly, but the last few times we came, they were out. They were out, yeah. Oh yeah, because we are early today. Mm -hmm. We gotta get away. You gotta mm. get so good. Yeah. And the seaweed wrap. I love that taste. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like seaweed in my teeth, so I apologize everybody. But look at that. They don't mess around when it comes to putting pork belly inside of there. Thumbs up all day long. Mm. And guys, I told you we were gonna find some honey. This is Red Roof Farms. Hello, hello, and what was your name? Jeannie Croswell. Jeannie Croswell, I'm Drew. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Drew. And look, we have honey from seven miles down the road. Oh, fantastic. So good. Oh, look, they got the beeswax, and I love a good honeycomb. You can't go wrong with a good honeycomb, can you? Yeah. Oh, uh, isn't that so, beautiful? That is gorgeous. And what is this? This is oh. bee pollen. It's a superfood. Oh. Oh, okay, wow. so what would you, like, what would you use it in, or? You can sprinkle it on pizza, you can mix it in salad, you wow. can do, um, put it in yogurt. There's lots of different things you could put it in. Now, oh, um, on pizza, that sounds amazing. Yeah. Oh my goodness, something. you learn something every day. Oh, thank you. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. You have a honey of a day. Hey, have a honey of a day. That woman was awesome. She said to have a honey of a day, and it just made me smile. It was amazing. That was amazing. But that. No, she was. She was on it. But yeah, seven miles down the road. So it's from Lakeland, and I asked her. Um, you know, how did you get into it? And she said her husband about seven years ago just wanted a couple hives and all of a sudden 
it just it went from there. So a lot of honey. A lot of honey, and it looked really good. We might have to come back and, and get some honey. We need to think about it. We get some. Yeah. So we can all have a honey of a day. <laughs> And guys, this is Stick It Thai food I have eaten here before. It is amazing. They do a phenomenal job. Good morning, Good morning guys. How are you? Great. How are you? Very good. We love your booth, man. You guys make wonderful food. Seriously. Great. Come back and see us. Absolutely. And right here we have the pickle patch. You guys know how I feel about pickles. Look at them all. Ooh, the cowboy. The crunchy, classic, fresh dill with a heaping blend of blended peppers and jalapeno oh so good and like i said we got some fresh veggies locally we got some more bread a lot of nice bakery nice a lot of nice bakeries oh cranberry chocolate bread cranberry chocolate bread that's amazing oh it all looks good, and this is Moyo bread. And over here, we have Granny Mac beverages. I am not sure what's going on here, but we're gonna talk to the vendor about the Granny Mac beverages. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. How are you? Awesome, awesome. So what do we got? So what's, what's the deal here? All right, we got it's our first and only flavor is uh, mango cranberry. Okay. It's actually originated from my granny. My granny's 89 years old. No way, really? She lives about five blocks that way. No She's way. Been making this here for the immediate family for probably 14, 15 years. That is amazing. Now, what was your name? My name is Vinny. Vinny? I'm the owner of the company. I'm Drew. Nice likewise. to meet you, Vinny. Likewise, likewise. Fantastic, man. Yeah. That is amazing. It's been, it, it's taken, I, it's been taken since the first time I tasted it. 14 years ago, uh -huh. I've been on my granny, like, granny, we need to bottle this stuff. So. Yeah, yeah. So, it took until February this year, which is my dad, seventy birthday, I threw a surprise party yeah. for him, and she made another batch, and I asked her again. <laughs> she released it to me, so. Oh, look at that, that's awesome, man. All right, so, I got a sample, I got to taste this, uh, this tea. Granny Mac. Granny Mac, baby. Cheers. Oh. Oh, that is good, man. Now, now put that camera right here. <laughs> yeah. oh. that's, that's what I said the first time I tasted it. Mm. Yeah, Dang, knows man. what's up. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> For real, man. It speaks for itself, right? Thank you so Thank much, you. dude. That's delicious. And down the street, they have Tommy's Old Fashioned Jerky and Smokies in case you need to get yourself some beef jerky oh maybe next time next time for the jerky oh look at these beautiful flowers wow this is totally a 10 for zen oh man if you guys don't know what 10 for zen is and you're new to our channel we like to take a uh, 10 seconds out of our day on stream because we do live streams as well to embrace the beauty and take a breather from life. And this is Ethos Freshly Roasted Craft Coffee. I've had it before. It is phenomenal. So good. And this is something I did never had until I was here in Florida called Sweet Arepa. It is amazing. It's a corn sandwich with mozzarella cheese. I highly, highly recommend it. So good. And right over here is Honeycomb Bakery. Look at the artisan bread. Oh. My goodness, it looks so good. That's amazing. Guys, it's so good. We're going to get that honey almond croissant. We've gotten it before. We're going to bring it home, though, to share with the kids. But I'm telling you, everything here is outstanding. Oh, so good. All of it looks good. Hey, guys, just so you know, in case you do decide to come on a Saturday, your best bet is to get here early. Uh, this is about eight in the morning um, because a lot of the good items, they're gonna sell out. They are gonna sell out. Like the gentleman said about his bread, certain items that are, you know, the popular ones are gonna sell out faster, obviously. So you gotta get here and get your goods. You do. Gonna do it for this vlog here at the Farmer's Market down here in uh, downtown Lakeland, Florida. Just awesome. 
It's so yeah, awesome. Guys, if you are around the area, definitely come get some goodies. Pop in. It is, uh, I believe it's 7 or 8 o'clock in the morning every Saturday until 2, I believe it is. So, so you got to get here. But get here early, I'm telling you, for parking, for all the good stuff so it doesn't all sell out because um, it will sell out. But guys, thank you for watching our, uh, our vlog today. Thanks for checking out the channel if you're new. Hopefully you hit that subscribe button. Maybe boop the like button as well. Maybe leave a comment. Maybe uh, something that you thought would be cool to try down here that you saw or something like that. But all right, guys, until we see you next time, remember, only one way to live. In the moment, guys. In the moment. Don't forget to watch any of these two videos. That's right. Woo!